Hello and welcome back to our next episode of our playthrough of Lost Kingdoms 2. Last episode we completed the Sacred Battle Arena and today we are visiting the Bridge of Sarvan. Uh, Sarvan is quite an interesting map in the fact it requires us to use some cards that we otherwise wouldn't want to use. Namely, immobile helper type trap creatures. Now, these aren't necessarily unusable. Uh, they're not the strongest in combat, but they do a job. And if you want to play with that play style, then go ahead. However, they are relatively weak and also quite hard to use in the fact that you actually have to have enemies physically run into them. The first thing we need to do on this level is make sure to open this chest. You are rewarded for bringing every type of movement ability with you to the majority of levels, because it gives you the Married card, which is one of the better uh, mid-game water weapons. It's not quite as good as the Dragon Knight, the Dragon Knight really is just that good, but incredibly useful card and has a really long range. One of the mid goals of this um, run is to make sure you always have a strong water attack in hand. This level is almost overwhelmingly fire, therefore you need to have good attacks like the Dragon Knight. The main enemy you fight on this level are Jade Knights. Um, they have a very big sword attack, it does quite a lot of damage, but fortunately they are very simple minded. They run straight towards you and try and kill you that way. One charged hit from the Dragon Knight does one shot them. And this is something you learn just by visiting the level repeatedly. I could go straight ahead here, but I actually have a very important uh, sub-goal in coming to this level. And again, it's one of the reasons I wanted to get early flight. You come here to pick up the decoy, pillar and jade knight cards. Uh, sorry, jade giant I mean. Which is a really strong transform. Very, very good. Um, and I will be using it as one of my generically good fire cards in this run. But in the meantime, I want to make sure that I have killed this Siren here. And hit it with a nice mad storm, because it's motionless and can't dodge. Just leave the evil eye behind me, it's not doing me any harm. Now I'm particularly happy here, because my Kraken now costs 6, which is the fair cost for a Kraken. And now it's going to cost uh, 12 again, which is sad. Now you can only access this island if you have flight. And it's a really cool island to visit, because it's otherwise very difficult to get later on. When you open this chest, you get one of the rarer cards in the game, the Lucky Lion card. It can only be obtained from this chest, I believe. And it doubles the XP your cards earn. So if you're going for completion, it's worth it not only to uh, obtain the Lucky Lion for the Pokedex, so to speak, but also because it helps you obtain all of the other cards faster. Now there's a special trick about the Lucky Lion that I'll show you in a moment. But first we just go through the process of touching unicorn heads and hoping that the gate doesn't close too early. Come on. There we go. Registered it. Now we'll open the gate. We just... I was going to just run past that, but I, I cut it a bit close. 
As you can see, the Siren does almost no damage. It's just very, very weak, her blocker. But I had to kill the previous one because it won't let me pie. Now, we're getting hints here on how to complete this level. Uh, I've just been given a Mandragora and a Decoy Pillar, which both have one simple thing in common. Neither of them can move. And so I'm going to want to have my full set of motionless paperweights. Grab this. Oh my goodness, it's the Queen. Wow. I wonder why everyone thinks we look so much like the Queen. We're just a simple bandit. Paperweight active and the bridge lowers. Now, one of the interesting things to note here is this uh, chest is now in an unopenable cage. Because when you read this, it says a treasure easily attained is a treasure not worth having. You have to make the choice. You only get either the card in this chest or the lucky lion. And the card in this chest is actually just a hobgoblin. Which is one of the worst cards in the game, as I've previously said. We continue to just throw down paperweights. They have roughly a three minute lifespan, so I'm not too worried. And we actually make use of the Milestrom card. Wow. You'll notice I'm now slow. That's because a gold butterfly is down below. And you will often see speedrunners of this game complain about this butterfly because sometimes it just decides to follow you forever. There we go. I've used the Milestrom here. Come on. <sighs> Hang on. Oh, sh oh, that's that's what I'm going to do. Oh gosh. Okay, I'll have to come in back and get this because uh, someone's decided to trigger one of my traps. Ah well, I think the card in there is actually uh, the unicorn. Uh, just in case you were wondering. Okay, these are menacingly flashing at me. But I'm going to largely just ignore these because their range is so short, I don't actually have to care. Now, for this next bit, uh, I'm actually going to get ambushed. Uh, the gold butterfly here being incredibly annoying by stopping me entering the gate almost uh, entirely. Now, the only thing I need to really kill here is Demon Fox, but... Oh man, I am in a bad cycle. Demon Fox dead. Let's get the Jade Knight as well, just as revenge. And then I can go. Nice. Well, I can get lucky here and get Demon Fox, but I didn't. I got the Siren and I got the Gold Butterfly. That's the Bridge of Sarthen, which actually unlocks Alonja. Now, when I go to Alonja, I will be given access to Holzer Town, and I can also do a side quest which will take me over here. But for now, that will complete our episode of Lost Kingdoms 2. Um, I will go back and get the card in the chest and tell you for sure what it is, but I feel that watching my attempts to get it might be frustrating, as I will just have to cycle through my deck until I get all of the um, Mandragora type cards. 
So thank you for watching, I've been Scissors Lizards, and next time we'll explore Holzertown.